Okay, um, uh, question 20, inverse function. Uh, find the inverse of the following function and sketch the graphs of uh, each function. Fx here equals to the third x minus 1 and the uh, media of x here uh, greater than uh, or equals to 1. Okay, uh, first you check the media of x uh, greater than uh, or equals to 1. Uh, so domain of the fx or domain of the square root function here uh, start at the ones uh, to a positive uh, infinity yeah okay first step uh, you find the inverse function uh, inverse of the square root function Okay, first you let the y here equals to the third x minus 1. And uh, write down x here in terms of y. And here uh, you squaring both sides. Okay, squaring both sides. And uh, y square equals to the x minus 1. And write down x here in terms of y. x equals to uh, y squared plus 1. Yeah? And uh, you replace y here. Uh, replace with x. And uh, x here you replace with the f inverse of x. Okay? And answer. Uh, f inverse of x here equals to the x squared uh, plus 1. Yeah? Okay, first function, uh, y here equals to the third x minus 1. Here is a square root function. And the second function here, f inverse of x equals to the x squared plus 1 uh, quadratic uh, function. Yeah. Okay, before you sketch the graphs of the inverse function, so you find the domain of the fx here, yeah? Uh, so domain of the square root function uh, define if fx greater than or equal to the zero and uh, third x minus one uh, greater than or equal to the zero and uh, you square in both sides. x minus one here greater than or equal to zero. x here greater than or equals to one, yeah? And domain of the square root function uh, one to a positive infinity uh, using a semi-open bracket. Okay, and uh, you sketch the graph of the square root function. Uh, here you put the y as is and uh, x as is, yeah? Okay, so function here fx equal to the third x minus 1. Uh, so domain here start at the 1 to the positive infinity. Uh, so you substitute 1 here into the function. Uh, set uh, 1 minus 1 here equal to the 0. Uh, so uh, first point here at the 1, 0. Uh, you plot the point. Uh, second here at 2, 1. And here at uh, 5, 2. So you sketch the graph of the uh, square root function. Okay, okay, so, and uh, you label the function here. This one, the square root function, fx. Okay, and then uh, second function, uh, fx here equals to uh, uh, x squared plus 
Okay, and the second function, uh, f inverse of x here equals to the x square uh, plus uh, one. Yeah. Uh, before you sketch the graph of the quadratic function, uh, so you find the y intercepts and the x intercept of the function. Uh, y intercept here when x here equal to zero, uh, so you find the value of y. Yeah. Uh, you substitute zero into the function and the y here equal to the zero. Yeah. Uh, y here equals to the 1, yeah, and the y intercept here exists at the 0, 1, yeah, first point, and the x intercept of the function, uh, y here equal to 0, so you find the value of x, uh, so here 0 equals to the x squared plus 1, and x here equals to the plus minus set 1, so x intercept of the function, uh, undefined, or does not exist, yeah. And then uh, you sketch the graphs of the um, uh, you sketch the graph of the quadratic function. Uh, so here you can sell. Okay, and uh, you sketch the graphs. Okay, and the y-intercept of the quadratic function here at the 0, 1, and the x-intercept of the function uh, undefined. Uh, so vertex, uh, the minimum value of the quadratic function here at the 0, 1. You start from here at the 0, 1. Okay, so graph here open up, yeah, open ups. And here, uh, open up to a positive uh, infinity. Yeah. Uh, so here you label the graph of the f inverse function. Okay. Yeah. Settle. Uh, second graph. And then uh, you check the domain of the. Um, Okay, and then the uh, domain of the inverse function. Okay, so domain of the inverse function here equals to the range of function. Uh, domain of the quadratic function uh, equals to the range of the square root function. Uh, so here answer uh, equals to the zero to the positive uh, infinity. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, this function, uh, inverse, this inverse function only defined uh, between uh, zero to the positive infinity. So you put the arrow here. Uh, so domain of the inverse function uh, equals to the zero to the positive infinity. Okay. And uh, this part of the quadratic function you can solve. Okay. So you just uh, you just sketch the half of the quadratic function. Yeah, so here you can solve. Okay, yes, I can sell.
Okay, and uh, you labels uh, first function. Uh, here is uh, the square root function fx, and here the graphs of the inverse function f inverse of x. Okay, and uh, between the two function here, you put the dot line. Yeah, uh, so you put the dot line. Uh, y here uh, equals to the x. Yeah, this line divided between the uh, fx and uh, f inverse function, okay? Okay, and uh, from the graphs here, you find the domain of the inverse function. Okay, domain of the inverse function here, uh, zero to the positive uh, infinity uh, and using the semi-open bracket. And uh, you find the range of the inverse function. Uh, range of inverse function uh, start at the uh, one to uh, positive uh, infinity. Yeah. Okay, settle. Yeah. Question. Uh, to okay, question 21. Find the inverse of the square root function and sketch the graphs and, of, and uh, its inverse. Yeah fx here equals to the set x plus 1 and domain of the function here greater than uh, or equal to the 0. So here is the domain of the square root function. Uh, start at the 0 here uh, to positive uh, infinity. Okay, first you find the inverse function. Uh, first, you let y here equals to the set x uh, plus 1. Okay. And uh, y minus 1 here is the set x. And write down x here in terms of y. Yeah. And here you square in both sides. Okay, squaring both sides, uh, y minus 1 uh, equals to the set x, and here equals to the y minus 1 square equals to the x, okay? And you write down x here in terms of y, x equals to the y minus 1 square, and then you replace uh, x here, replace with uh, x, and uh, x, uh, f inverse function of x here equals to the uh, x minus 1 uh, square, yeah? Okay, uh, so first you sketch the graph of the fx, okay? Uh, graph of fx here equals to the set x uh, plus 1 and domain of the function uh, 0 to the positive infinity. So first point here at the 0 and substitute into the function uh, set 0 plus 1 and y here equals to 1, okay? Uh, so first point here at the 0, 1, you put here, yeah? And second at the 4, 3, and number 3 here at uh, 9, 4. Okay, at least uh, 3 value of x. And you sketch the graphs of the uh, square root function. Okay, uh, so first graph here, fx equals to the set x uh, plus 1, yeah? 
And the second graph, graph of the inverse function, uh, you check the function. F inverse here equals to the uh, x minus uh, 1 square. Okay, so uh, f inverse function equals to the x minus 1 square. And you compare with the standard form of the quadratic function. a times uh, x minus h square plus k. And the coefficient of the quadratic function here equals to 1 and positive. And graph of the quadratic function here open up. Yeah, open upwards. Okay, and then uh, you find the vertex of the quadratic function at the hk. Uh, so you compare the x minus h, compare with the x minus 1. So h here equals to positive 1, and k here equal to the 0, yeah? And the vertex of the quadratic function here exists at the uh, 1, 0, yeah? Okay, so you plot the point. Uh, y uh, vertex here at the 1, 0. Let's start from here. Yeah, your labels uh, one and here beta of y here equals to the one yeah and uh, you find the y intercepts of the function Okay, and then uh, you find the y-intercept of the function when x here equal to the 0, and you find the value of y, substitute 0 here into the function, uh, 0 minus 1 square equals to the positive 1, and the y-intercept here at the uh, 0, 1, yeah? And you sketch the graph of the quadratic function, uh, graph here open up first, uh, start at the 0, 1, start from here. So graph here open up to positive infinity, yeah, and intercepts here at the zero one. Okay, graph here open up. Okay, and here you label the function uh, f inverse uh, of x. Okay. Okay, and then uh, you check the domain of the inverse function. Uh, so domain of the function here equals to the range of the function, yeah? Okay, and the uh, range of the inverse, uh, range of the function here equals to the uh, zero to the positive, uh, equals to the 1 to the positive uh, infinity. Okay, uh, so start from here. Okay, yeah. Okay, uh, so range here uh, start at the 1 to the positive uh, infinity. Yeah, and the domain of the function equals to the 1 to the positive infinity, and uh, this quadratic function only defined uh, between uh, 1 to the positive uh, infinity. Okay, 
Uh, so hub of the function, uh, here you can sell. Okay, yeah. So you can sell. Okay, yeah. So you can sell and then uh, you put the dot line between fx and the f inverse function. Okay. You check the answer. Okay, here is the answer. Okay, check answer. Uh, so here you put the labels uh, y as is. And uh, x as is of the function. And you label fx here equals to the set x plus 1. And uh, f inverse function. And you put the dot line between fx f inverse function yeah and from the graphs here you find the domain of the inverse function Okay, so domain of the inverse function here, 1 to the positive infinity, and the range of the inverse function, uh, 0 to the positive uh, infinity, yeah? 